I don't deny that. Saying, I'm being sensitive. I don't deny walking, that. But you're the one that seemed very emotional. Oh, right my God. And go ahead. Subject matter, Stephen go, go ahead, Jay. Come on, man. Go ahead, Jay. Come on, man. Go ahead, Jay. I'm not, I'm not sitting up here on national TV absolving Kyrie Irving of every, every decision. I'm not going back and reaccounting every decision. I'm just saying how it's interesting to me. It just carries such a bigger momentum, in particular with you, J J J more J so than anything, anybody J J else. J One month ago, ESPN's highest paid on-air employee and executive producer first take, Stephen A. Smith, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with former pro ball player turned analyst Jay Williams on the subject Kyrie Irving. You know what? What I would, what? I, what I would ask you is do me a favor. Stop telling us what you find interesting and just tell us what you feel. No, my job you, is you, to be you, you say that You say, I find it interesting. You always say that. Say what you're saying. <laughs> what are you saying? What did I just say? What are you saying? It seemed, what am I saying? I just said what I'm saying, Stephen A. Which is? And I'm not allowed to say what I find interesting. Of course you are. But like, once again, of you course I invite you person. on the show to you say what's interesting. He thinks you're too preoccupied with Kyrie, too hard on Kyrie. Did I Bridget, Bridget Kyrie Irving last week before he demanded a trade? We were talking football. I don't seem to be the one being triggered right now. Well, it's I'm always triggered. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you are not. Okay. I've seen you. No, I no, watch no your problem. show every so, day. So what right, do you are I we work talking with about you? Kyrie or is this personal? It, it, it seems it, personal. I don't and right here is where I believe Jay Williams knew what really went down because he said this in a very firm and confident matter. I don't want it to be personal. What seems personal? So. It seems personal for you. For me, with Kyrie? Yes. You One of million people, percent. You of all people with all the interest you have got the nerve to sit here in national television and tell me I'm getting personal with a player? I don't lose no sleep. I didn't say you lose I sleep. I don't lose any sleep over Kyrie. I didn't Kyrie say you Irving. lose sleep. I'm, I'm passionate about the subjects I'm passionate about. I don't accuse you of getting personal when you take the position. You have accused me of getting personal. Oh, my God. You have, Stephen right. A. Can, can I go on the court? I'm going to leave it. Can I go on the court real quick? Because I'd like to. Because when we started off. We can... both got a lot to say. All right, all right. You, you do? Yeah. You do? Okay, Just say guys, it, Jay. Can no, I? Can just say I? it, Jay. I'm not in here for that. I'm not in here for just that. Just say it, Jay. I'm on your show. Okay. All right. Okay. And it ended very, very spicy, if we must say. As we're watching this back, it becomes truly revealing to learn it is indeed personal, a point Smith rebuked vociferously on his show. Now, this is important. Here's what he said on the Bet Rivers Network. Now, Kyrie and I have our differences on a personal level, which is none of anybody's business. And I'll never tell why. He knows why, okay? And his daddy knows why. They know how I feel about how they've acted towards me, and they know how I feel about them, and I know how they feel about me. Let's just play back what he said on first take once more. Right, are we I talking about you. Kyrie or is this personal? It, it seems it, personal. I don't want it to be personal. What seems personal? So. It seems personal for you. For me with Kyrie? Yes. You One of all million people, percent. You of all people with all the interest you have got the nerve to sit here in national television and tell me I'm getting personal with a player? I don't lose no sleep. I didn't say you lose sleep. I don't sleep. lose any sleep over Kyrie. I didn't say you lose sleep. Come on, real quick, because I'd like to. Because when we started off... We both got a lot to say. All right, all right. You, you do? Yeah. You do? Okay, just say guys, it, Jay. Can no, I... Just say I, it, Jay. I'm not in here for that. I'm not in here for just that. Just say it, Jay. I'm on your show. Okay. Now, Smith caught in a lie on national television would follow up that previous quote with this. I can say that to Mike Missinelli, the host, and anybody out there because I know that that does not interfere with my reporting on him and my perspective based off of the facts, he said. Kyrie's father's name is Dredrick, pictured here with his son on draft day. Last June, Kyrie would tweet at Stephen A. Smith, you're going to have to explain yourself to people in your generation. I am not around many 50-plus-year-olds that speak and act like you do. So this is new for me, but I am sure my father and my uncles can meet you on your level better than I can. We know you, Stephen, in all caps. Last January, Williams and Smith sparred on the topic of Irving and the COVID-19 vaccine, and Smith accused Williams of being an Irving apologist. Smith has been vocal about his issues with Irving on the court, including when he came down on the NBA champion for not showing up to work. Smith also said the fact is that despite being such a talented player, an NBA team can't offer Irving a long-term contract because they don't know if he will play in a meaningful number of games. Media critic Liam McCone would write, Stephen A. Smith gets so heated when talking about Irving that it doesn't come across as a huge surprise. There is some personal beef, but he has paid the big bucks to separate fact from feeling. 